Hello and welcome back to another Tech Tip Tuesday video. This week we are going to take a look at how you can change material IDs using the find and replace utility for those materials that have been entered into your version of Job Boss and are now grayed out. The first thing I want to show you is where you can access or where you can download the find and replace utility and that's through our customer portal. From there you're going to go to the software downloads option and you're going to select other software downloads. Once you're in other software downloads there is a search option at the lower left hand side of the screen. Under search you're going to select documents and then you'll scroll down to where it says document search. You can see that I've already typed in find and replace here. You may be prompted to enter in your, uh, your username and password to access this area. Type in find and replace and then you're going to hit the show button. Now I do want to tell you or highlight that you should be um, clearing out all of these other fields if there's anything in these fields before you sh um, search for the find and replace utility. Now that I've typed in find and replace and explained what to do, I'm going to hit the show button here. And from there it's going to bring up a list of all the different find and replace utilities that are available for download. These are free downloads. You'll just want to make sure that you find the correct version in the list that you're seeing here. Now I have version 11.11 so I've gone ahead and downloaded version 11.11. And now that I have it downloaded I want to jump into Job Boss and just show you a material that I'm going to be changing. So I've already brought up material 14 NOM or 14 NOM and you can see the description is 3 eighths inch high collar lock washer. Now my material description um, is not really matching up with my material ID. This might be my, um, my catalog number or whatever it might be. But I may have changed catalog numbers or there could be various reasons as to why you want to change this. You'll notice that this is grayed out and when I click and try to delete here, you cannot delete that information out. The reason is the reason why is because I've used this somewhere within Job Boss and it is now tied to a different file somewhere again within Job Boss. So the only option you have is to use the find and replace utility. Now that I've downloaded it, I want to make sure I'm going to minimize Job Boss. Actually, you know what? It's going to have you prompt it's going to prompt you to um, or, or recommend that you close out. So I'm just going to completely close out of Job Boss altogether and we're going to go and take a look at how to use the find and replace utility. I have saved the find and replace utility to my desktop so I'm going to double click that option. Again, like I said, you would get a warning that will pop up that says you re the, um, we recommend that you suspend and using Job Boss altogether. Um, and I have done that so I'm going to hit the OK button. From there it's going to bring up the find and replace slash merge utility. In this case we're only looking at today how you can use the find and replace utility to change a material ID. So from there I want to make sure I go to the select drop down and I select the correct area that I'm trying to change which in this case is the material. Now I do know what the value is so I could type in 14 NOM and you can see as I do that it is going to find that. Otherwise you do have the option to use the drop down as well. So I'm going to select the old value 14 NOM and I'm going to change the new value to something that makes a little bit more sense to what that actual material is. So I'm going to change the value from 14 NOM to 3-8 HCLW, which is standing for 3 8 inch high collar lock washer. Now that I've typed in the new value, I want to make sure that I hit the apply button. And you can see that it's now changing the old value to the new value here. The last step that you'll need to do is you're going to actually have to hit the process button as well to make sure that this actually goes through and changes it in Job Boss. Once I've ch um, selected that process button, you will notice that it does go away. And if I open Job Boss back up, you're going to see when I go into that material file that 14 NOM no longer exists and our new material ID is going to be 3-8 HCLW. So now that Job Boss is loading back up, we're going to go back under System Administration when it loads, and we're going to go back into our material file. We will type in our new material description, which is, th or not description, I'm sorry, the new material ID, 3-8 HCLW, and hit our Tab key on our keyboard. And you can now see that this carries over, 
and it is now our 3 8 inch high collar lock washer. I do want to point out that if I type the new button and I type in 14NOM, there is no longer going to be a description and I have now just created that new material um, only to show you that there is nothing that goes along with 14NOM. Well, that's all I've got for you this week on our Tech Tip Tuesday video. Please tune in in the next week or so to see the next version of our Tech Tip Tuesday video. Thanks again and have a wonderful week.